Hi, my name is Bill, and today I want to be showing you how to replace the hinge support screw in your dishwasher. The reason why you might have to do this is because the screw is damaged, missing, or broken. For this repair, we'll be using a screwdriver with a VT15 star bit. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dishwasher we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Whirlpool. Now keep in mind, yours at home might be a little bit different than what we have here, but the same technique should still apply. Also keep in mind, we don't have a countertop for this, so we're actually using some weights to keep it weighted down so it doesn't tip over on us. So you might want to consider that when you're at home and if you have to take out your dishwasher, uh, make sure that you're not doing anything to tip it over and make it fall on you when you're doing a repair as well. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our dishwasher here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take all the screws out of the door here. So now that we have all the screws out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the door a little bit, kind of get it back into place. However, once I get about here, we can take this door off and separate the two halves. We can do that nice and carefully. There are still a couple of wires on the inside that connect them, but there's this wire right here, and we're going to unplug that from our control board here. And all we really need to do is just pinch the two sides here and then pull it out. So this piece right here is our hinge support and you can see it's a bit loose on the one side because it's missing a screw. On this side it's got the other screw. However, you can see right there it's moving freely so it's not really doing its job. So now, you can grab your new OEM replacement screw, and if you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now you're just going to adjust that bracket so that the hole lines up with the screw hole in here. And then once they're lined up, you can screw it in. There we go. So now we're going to put our front panel back on, and we're just going to lift it up. And in case your door latch assembly fell off like ours did, we're just going to line it up and set it back inside of its screw right here. And now we'll plug in our front console assembly to the control board. And we'll lift up on our front panel and slide it into place on the front door here. There we go. And now I'm going to open up the door. And I want to put the screws in the front two corners first. And that'll help hold the whole door together, and then I can get the rest in.
close up your door and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.